Bowl de laranja. Bowl de laranja. Bowl de laranja. Craving Food Adventures. I'm Karen Ahmed. I'm excited to bring you today's recipe. It's a delicious orange cake. It has its origins in Brazil and Portugal, and it's called Bolgela Ranja. This is hard to pronounce, so I hope that I did it justice. This cake has been around for a long time. However, recently, a famous fashion designer, Wendell Rodericks from Goa, made this famous by printing the recipe in his book, Poskim. Unfortunately, Wendell passed away recently and the cake became even more famous, so I decided to give it a try. This is definitely a keeper. Before I go any further with this recipe, do make sure you subscribe to my channel and make sure to ring that bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get cooking. You can use any pan, but I'm using my bundt pan for this recipe. I'm going to brush this with butter and just add a sprinkle of some granulated sugar. This is optional, but I like to use thinly sliced oranges as it adds a great flavor and a pop of color. I'm going to alternate with regular and blood oranges. In a bowl, I'm going to whisk 200 grams of unsalted butter. This butter is at room temperature. For me here in Canada, room temperature is still cold, so I'm going to have to whip this a bit to get it going. I have 200 grams of granulated sugar here. I'm just going to add this in a little bit at a time to help cream this butter. This is now looking good, so I'm going to add four eggs in, one at a time. Add one teaspoon of vanilla essence, two tablespoons of orange rind, and I'm going to pour in 80 ml of orange juice. I've used fresh orange juice, but you can add processed if you need to. Finally, I have 200 grams of pre-sifted all-purpose flour, and I've also added one tablespoon of baking powder. Fold this in carefully into the batter. I'm now just going to press this fruit down one more time and start pouring the batter over the top. Give this a tap to make sure there are no air bubbles. Bake this in a 350 degree oven for 30 to 45 minutes. Once cooled, completely turn over. I'm going to pour about 30 ml of juice and a sprinkle of sugar. And this is ready to eat. Thank you so much for joining me on Cravings Food Adventures. I hope you enjoyed this delicious recipe. It is so easy to prepare and it comes out beautiful, fluffy and moist. Thank you Wendell Rodericks for sharing this recipe through your book. May you forever rest in peace. If you love this recipe guys, do give it a thumbs up. 
leave me a comment below and share it with your family and friends so they can enjoy these amazing recipes as well. And don't forget to ring that bell so you're notified the minute I upload a new video. And be sure to follow me behind the scenes on all of my social channels. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Until I see you next time, do take care and stay safe. Bye.